Hello everybody, I am Owen here with Three Brothers Entertainment, and today we're playing a game called Stormworks. Now, if you already know what Stormworks is, that's great, but for those of you that don't know, let me explain. So Stormworks, it's a voxel-based uh, res build and rescue uh, game. Basically, what that means is it uses voxels, so like these really tiny cubes, and it builds the entire world out of this. It looks very geometric. And basically what you can do with this is build vehicles. So this could be anything from cars to trains to trucks, planes, whatever, you name it, to go and complete rescue missions. Now, they have added a creative mode, which is what we're going to be using today. And we're going to start creation on a kind of like a do-all boat. So like a jack-of-all-trades, if you will. Now, I'm super excited to get started, uh, show you guys the game. I hope you guys like it, and let's get started. So we're going to hit start. We're going to go custom. I like the multiplayer island base just because I'm a bit more familiar with this and it's a bit bigger. Gonna hit start and here we are. So automatically when you start a new save it opens up the character creator and since it is the holiday season I've gone and created this guy. So <laughs> got my normal pilot face here but we've also got funky little Christmas hat and Christmas sweater. And here we go. We are now in the wonderful world of stormworks okay so uh we're not gonna do anything in the hangar for now because we're gonna go straight to the docks let's open up this door now the docks are all the way over there oh and you see we got a mission we don't really have to do missions right now uh we're going to later though probably not in this video anyways the docks are all the way over there and while i could walk there um instead i'm just gonna press the home button on my computer and or on my keyboard i should say what is that let's go let's go investigate what this is first hmm. okay so it looks like it is a helicopter of some kind whoa okay Yes, that's a helicopter. Um, it's not mine, though. Anyways. Whoa. Okay. Let's just fly back here. So that's, that's kind of strange. Uh, probably AI. Anyways, here we are in the editor and we are ready to go so i will make a separate video explaining all this stuff in the editor so for now we could just get straight into building so i'm going to turn on symmetry mode and we'll get started building the boat so step one we got to determine how big we want our boat to be um now i'm thinking we do like out to about here and then maybe middle section goes out to here let's see how this looks um i think that's a bit tiny for a boat so let's make it a bit larger actually do we need to if it's just going to be us using this then yeah i don't think we need to make it all that big um shoot maybe like here would be good let's see yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I think that's a good size. All right, so we've got the sides of the boat done. Now let's erase this. Find the middle, probably right around here is gonna be the middle. And then we can start building the boat. So let's see, how tall do we want it to be? Maybe like here and then Um, to here is probably good. Hmm. Yeah, I think that, I think this will work. Yeah, all right. Next step, we're going to start to build out, like, the front part of the boat where it's kind of sloped, uh, and bring it to the back. So, I'm just going to go with a very basic hull, and we might change it up later. Um, this is what we're going with now. 
All right, we got that. I'm going to switch over. Now we're going to grab our wedge piece and bring this down. We could bring it down to about here, but we're not going to do that. It doesn't really do much. Next up, we're going to grab ourselves a pyramid from down here. Two, three, and four. And then we can just build this out. Actually, build this out to about here. Grab an inverse pyramid. Two, three. There we go. Okay, so inverse pyramid is going to be set up a bit like this. Then we can just go like this, just back and forth across the boat till we get to the edge right about here. I'm just going to save up some time later so we don't have to um, go back and forth with each part. It'll make sense in a second. do we so i have a bit of a plan for what we're gonna do today i want to get the basic hull set up and then i want to get the engine uh mostly set up and then we can work on some of the other stuff next time but i think this would be a, that would be a good uh place to start just making sure that the boat drives and that everything just kind of fits and works together So right here, I'm building the front of the boat. And if you're making a boat in Stormworks, then you can make it using uh, however like many sized pyramids you want. So I know in Stormworks, they've got, I believe it goes, yeah, I have it down here. Uh, you've got a one by one wedge. Whoa. Okay, that's, mm. you got this wedge, which is the one by one. You've then got the 1x2 wedge. And you've got the 1x4 wedge. So you can build your boats out of whichever one of these you want. Um, and probably there's also some other stuff in game that you can build your boats out of. Doesn't really have to be that. And that's one of the reasons that I like Stormworks so much. And I've been playing it for about 3 or 4 weeks now. And I still haven't figured everything out. So there is a ton of stuff just buried in this game and I, I'm pretty excited to see what it has to offer anyways moving on um, I think now we just want to get the uh, sides kind of built up so we can do probably probably like up to here would be good mm. Yeah, probably. You know what we could do, actually, is build this with the 1x2 wedges. And we could have a bit of a sharper hull on the edge right here. Yeah. Why don't we try that? That might be interesting. See how that turns out. Maybe four. Okay. It's going to be a little strange, though. And I don't know if it'll work. No. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to build this right here so that we can get our 1 by 2 wedges. 2, 3, 4. There we go. So maybe to, like, right there. And this is going to be kind of odd when we go to build it later. Let's just make sure that we're not wasting a ton of time here. What pyramid would that be? That would be... A, Two by four. Shoot. Maybe a, like, yes. Okay, perfect. So that would be the, what is this? this is the two by two pyramid. Would probably work for this. All right, so this is gonna work. Uh, we just needed to make sure that it would. Whoa, okay, what am I doing? All right, nice. And now we can just go through and build up this side part of the hull, which is actually going to extend 
probably across the rest of the ship, if I'm not mistaken. So, that'll be fun. This might take a while. So, I think I will do a time lapse of me just building this slanted part. And I will see you guys at the end of the time lapse. are back okay so i've gotten this built out um we're gonna grab our special little pyramid for this part down here um and then i will walk you guys through what exactly i changed so uh give me a second to whoa did not want that here mm. boom and then finish this off. Okay, awesome. I'm really liking how this is looking. I think this was a really good good decision. I think it gave it a lot more depth. Give it a bit more variation. All right, here's what I did. So I finished off this side right here and I just closed in the back. So not a ton of changes. Uh, next up, we want to remove this large gross wall thing and then we have to go into the front and just manually boom all right so we've got the front kind of built out we've got the inside of the boat pretty much done actually which is nice um now we're going to test it out here's how we're going to do that basically we just want to fill this in and boom there we go we're ready to test so let's spawn it in and see how it handles it floats first try and it floats okay nice um next up i'm gonna add some weights to the bottom just to bring the center mass down a little bit and make it a bit easier um for the boat to stay stable until we add a ballast system which is probably going to be sometime next episode i think um, anyways, let's go ahead and remove this. Okay, uh, that's looking pretty good. Now we'll just remove this top part up here. And we can get started on A, sectioning this inside portion out. And B, working on the engine. So, uh, step one, we want to, uh, kind of, uh, section this out. What was I going to say? Yeah, section it out. This is basically going to add... Oh, wait, I need to add the <laughs> weights. Let's just add it down the center here. And maybe be like this. We'll see what happens. Let's get weight blocks. And add those in. Just down the line. Okay. And then, uh-oh. Let's add, re-add, I should say. Two, three, four. And then, of course, we're going to need just a normal block. It's probably going to... Yep, all right. And then this is going to bring the center of mass down there, which is good. And I don't think we need to change this up anymore. So now we can actually get started on sectioning the boat off. We're going to put one section here, and then this is going to be kind of cramped for the engine, but one section right here. So actually, let's see. Engine. What if we go with the large engine? It would be pretty nice. Um, darn. Two, three. Well, I guess we could do it just like this, and it would just be kind of cramped. Yeah, I think we could do that. Okay, and actually, what I am going to do is add in a fire extinguisher into the engine compartment area. Just because I know myself that well to know that if it's an engine that we're dealing with. We're going to need fire extinguishers. 
and I might actually tell that story a bit later on. So, anyways, let's get started with the engines. Mm, I don't know if we need the... You know what? Yeah, let's go with the large engine. Let's let's keep this, because we're awesome. We're just cool like that. <laughs> and we will... I'll do, like, a partial close of this top area. All right, so, what do we got? What are we working with? Step one is to, I think, we're going to want to hook everything up. So, got to make the most of this space. So, let's get, not fuel, we need radiator. Yeah, let's get a radiator first. Shoot. Um, I've always had trouble figuring out where I should put the radiators. And I don't know if I, I, I could probably put them actually inside the um, engine compartment area, but I don't know. Hmm. I think they need a lot of coolant, especially for these larger engines. So maybe, yeah, maybe we cut the large engines and we just go with, let's say a medium engine would probably work pretty well for this. Uh, area and we could do even like two or three of these or actually I think two is good yeah two is probably good more than enough um, now we got to get these pipes done so we could theoretically have all of the fuel and stuff on the other side of this wall so it's really easy for us to just come in and add it without having to go into the engine compartment so I think that's what I'll do First, we want to figure this out. So that's fuel, which means that it's going to be this right here. Yep, that's fuel for this one. And then fuel for this guy is right here. Yep, okay. Now let's get the pie, or actually, oh. Pipe, we want to get the straight pipe. One here and one here. Awesome. So this is going to allow us basically just to take um, the pipes in here and bring them through the wall without it looking terrible and without us having to actually go into the engine compartment. Let's get, why do I keep looking up fuel? We need tank. Um, how large, how big is a large tank? Oh, okay. This is probably good. We could do one here and then we could do one here. So one per each, uh, I guess you could say, engine. We need to get a pipe angle. Three, there we go. So now these are hooked up. We just need to get this to the engine. So we're going to grab ourselves a straight pipe. And boom, there we go, we've got fuel. And just to make sure uh, let's label these engines. So this is going to be engine one fuel. This is going to be engine two fuel. This is going, nope. This is going to be engine three fuel. And this right here is going to be, you guessed it, engine four fuel. Okay. Exciting. And actually, since we've got four engines, let's see, we could have each engine maybe limit them to, let's say, something like 15 RPS for now. And we can always tweak that later. So we're just going to say 15 RPS is the limit for these engines. And then while we're down here, and I'm getting a bit off track here, let's get a few dials just to display some engine information. So we'll get one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. And we can actually color code these. So I'm gonna say that we could turn symmetry off for this. This one over here is going to be green 
and then this engine is going to be green and all the pipes connecting it are going to be green and all these dials are green then this one over here this is going to be red i don't know it's looking like christmasy colors may or may not be intentional and then we can get blue for this guy Do, do. and then hmm. maybe we get like orange or let's do pink for this engine just because that's a bit of a standout color all right so we're color coding our engines now and i've actually never done something like this before so this is new uh to me at least and i i really like it so now we know which pipes go to which engine, and that's going to be so much easier for everything. Anyways, let's do... This one is going to be... First, get rid of this. And second of all, get batteries for everything so i think we should just use a large battery right here just to hook everything up um i think that'll go pretty well this is engine battery main and then we could have i don't know like backup batteries maybe some medium batteries like one, two, and three. This is backup. We'll do engine backup battery. And this is, or actually here, let's copy this. And we can just paste, 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 <laughs> paste, and paste. Okay. Next up, we want to get the electricity hooked up to all of these. So what we're going to do is go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. And then we'll take this guy. One, two, three, four. Oh, I know what uh, dial to add now. This will be engine battery. I'm going to copy this because it's going to go here and it's going to go here and it's going to go all the way over here. And then here's what else is going to happen. We're going to link. Grab this guy. Awesome, so now all these are linked up. Um, let's get charge, 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 and charge, just so that we know exactly what it's at, no matter what. Um, hmm. We don't really need these backup battery charge amounts right now. Uh, next up, we gotta get the coolant situation under control. Now, coolant, this is gonna be kinda difficult when we do all the piping and stuff. So what I'm going to do is revert it back to white and then we'll grab our pipe again. And here's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna grab our coolant or out coolant, okay? And that's gonna be this guy right here. So we're gonna do the out coolant first. We want the out coolant to go all the way up to here, and I'm still unsure of how we're going to do this. Hmm. Actually, I think I have an idea. So we could do... Let's see if this works. If there's, like, um, a fake... Two, three... We want them to be facing like this. So we're going to have two radiators per engine, so it's going to go one... And two, I'm going to do the out coolants are going to be in the B slot. So let's get our pipes again. Fluid B, fluid B. Build it 
down, and then down, and actually, no. We need to get a angle corner piece. I said, we need to get an angle corner piece. There we go. And put it like this, and then we need to get an angle. And put that like this, and then we need to get... Well, actually, we need to hold on to the angle because we need to use it right here. And then we'll just grab ourselves a straight pipe and boom. There we go. So this is the out coolant. And that's going to go to the out coolant slot. Next up, we got to get the in for the coolant. So let's do it like this. We'll grab this pipe right here. And actually, this is not going to go well. Um, which one is this? This is exhaust, okay, and this is also exhaust? Yeah, that's also exhaust. All right, so we have to build around. That's okay, we got this. I think this will work. So we just have to do maybe out one and then we'll get our corner piece up here. And we'll put this on the exhaust pipe just so we know where it's going and we'll get this one facing the opposite direction and we can just actually while we're over here probably line up the exhaust from both engines mm. that's not gonna work well because of how we built the boat so they'll just be right next to each other no. there we go okay and then like I said, I'm kind of spiraling here in terms of uh, construction habits. Um, there we go. Can build this one out, or actually no, we don't want to do that. What we can do instead is grab this piece and just put this Two and kaboom there we go exhaust is connected up and we can put I think fluid out oh yeah okay we actually don't need these we can just have the fluid port one and two perfect so that's the exhaust um glad we got that out of the way because now we can finish this up. So we've got to get the in coolant. We'll work, we'll start off with the out. So how are we going to do this? Well, I have an idea. And we'll do this while we're at it just to show how that works. Okay, we need to take this pipe right here and get it connected up to this guy right here. How are we, no, not this guy, sorry, this pipe. So how are we going to do this? Well, I think we could do it probably like this, and this is gonna become a crazy mess of pipes and stuff but if we do that and then there we go oh, all right shoot i completely forgot about the fluid a so this is the in slot part what we need here we've got to get a t piece t piece is going to go there because we're then going to get one two three build up down here uh, uh oh there we go so this works and this is kind of cluttered <laughs> remember we got to leave space for everything else although I don't think there's much else that needs space thankfully uh, we'll grab this corner piece from here two one two corner piece right there 
boom, and boom. Okay, so that's one engine done. Um, we're going to want to get this color, and then we're just going to paint over all the stuff on this engine that is part of that color. Actually, before we do that, I want to finish this up. Let's deselect paint. Let's just bring this all the way to the back here. We can delete this and then this. We can grab this, put it like that. And there we go. Okay, now we can do the painting. Boom. All right. I will say, I do kind of like this uh, new strategy of organization. Probably should have done this on some of my earlier uh, builds. But live and learn. Oh my gosh, did I? <laughs> That's pretty stupid. We gotta do like a weird zigzaggy thing over here. And there we go. All right, now that's hooked up. Go back to painting. Select color. Let's go over here and just slowly move down because we don't want to accidentally, like I just did there, color something that we're not supposed to. Okay, so now this is like a big pink mess over here. But we can tell what goes where, which is important in the game of Stormworks. Next up, deselect painting stuff. We want to get ourselves good old-fashioned white pipe. And we're going to do this. So we've got one exhaust connected um, for our blue right here. We just got to get the other exhaust real quick do that we're gonna do this one two oh of course it's pink um out to about here then what we can do is delete this grab ourselves one of these one and two there we go the exhaust ports are now connected up should be good to go on that uh these this one's probably going to be a bit easier when it comes to uh fluid ports so let's do the out coolant first and then we want to get our angle piece uh one two three four there we go all right so we got ourselves an angle piece and then we'll do the same thing over here uh, just so that it's a bit quicker. And so we don't have to do it later. Angle piece. Why do I keep pressing that? All right. Let's send this up. And then actually just delete a few. Let's get ourselves a radiator. First of all, we want it to be like this. And we want it to be one and two per engine. Nice, it's reflecting over there. Oh my god. All right, I'm going to have to recolor that. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's, let's hook this up. So, we've got fluid B. This is going to be our fluid out port. Just going to remove some of these. There we go. Here, now we gotta get a pipe T piece. Right there. Boom. Okay, doing good. Uh, we'll get this guy. There. Uh, bring this out one away from the wall. So it's right there. Go down and send this up and it connects up and that is the fluid out now let's get fluid in 
to the engine like this. So fluid in is gonna be a bit more difficult. Yeah, definitely gonna be more difficult. Okay. Um, actually, maybe not. Maybe there's a way to get around this. We could do something like this, where we go from here, and we just do this. And then after this, we can go bring this guy up to here. Grab this, and then we're gonna need one of those nifty angle corner pipes, which we can do this. Uh, and these are actually lined up. Whoa, okay, that's nice. We got this forwards, and then I think we're gonna need another T piece, yeah, right about here. Just get everything done and dusted. Okay, so that's that one completely done and then we should just be able to go out and we'll build these um engine out things in a second uh, i just need to make sure that looks like it's hooked up good to go now i'm gonna disable symmetry and stuff because i need to go and repaint this so let's select this color and we'll just go through and replace all the pink on this side with Green. Obviously, the um, engine power out of the engine. So I think, if I'm correct, this actually lines up right about here. Perfect. That means this lines up right here. Awesome. We can get this guy. and place him one here and one here. This is just a straight pipe piece that's enclosed, so that means we'll get some pressure in the engine. Or not pressure, but it won't break the engine is what I mean. Okay, no, you want to get a white pipe for this. Don't really need these Christmas colors right now. Instead, we need this. Okay, I also want to try to work with gearboxes a little bit because that's something that I haven't really uh, learned how to use, if I'm being honest. Let's get a gearbox. So this is going to be just complete experimentation on my part, because I have not used a gearbox before. So let's see, I think we want it going from the engine into the propellers, or do we want propellers into engine? I'm thinking propellers in the engine so it doesn't overwork the engine. We can try that, I guess. One and one. And we can just select these. So I think the first gear ratio, I want to make three to one. And that'll be like normal, right? And then ratio on, we could do like uh, five to two. These are just completely arbitrary. So I, I hope they work. And then we got to get three to one. And five to two. Oh, wow. Three to one. And five to two. Okay, perfect. Next up, connect the propellers. So I think we're going to go with some giant propellers, you know, because that's pretty cool. No denying that. Uh, never mind. Okay, we're going to go with medium propellers for the medium engine. Or large propellers? Do they have a medium propeller? Or is it just large? I, I guess they've only got a large propeller, so... Oh, yeah, they have a small propeller, too. I forgot about that. OK. 
Okay. All right, that's good. Um, do we need to do the clutch? No. All right, now let's go through and paint all this stuff up. So that's looking nice and spiffy. That sounded really strange. Okay, so that's the green one. Let's get the red propeller. Looking very evil. Blue propeller. And the pink propeller. Imagine seeing this in the water. This is, this is gonna look so strange when it's done. You know what we could also probably do is close this in, because I don't know if it's watertight or not. Yeah, it'll be fine. Probably. <laughs> what kind of logic can we get from this? Um, shoot. Can we get... Okay. So this doesn't go into that. Never mind, I get... What? This can go... <laughs> I mean... I guess you could get the tank content to control that. So that's cool, I guess. Anyways. Um, now I think we can... Oh, we have to build rudders. I forgot about that. Kind of important. Um, now when it comes to rudders, uh, I like the fin rudder because I think this is that the fin rudder is pretty good um, just overall, but it's really the only one that I've tried. So I guess there's, I don't know, some kind of bias there. So let's see. Um, I think it's A is positive and D is negative. So we actually want these to be switched. So one, two, three, four. And this boat's gonna have some insane handling. Nope. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, that's looking pretty nice. Looks like all the arrows are lining up. So it should work when we try to plug it in. Now I'm just gonna kind of leave that open for now just in case and then I'm gonna I'm gonna close this just a tad actually no I'm gonna close the entire thing so we can test it out actually that means I'm gonna have to close this actually, I don't know how well this closes so we may have some engine trouble later on and then we can Plug this in and test it out. Okay, so we've got the rudder set up. Now we just need to get a wheel. Nope. Helm. So there are different ways you can control stuff in Stormworks. Personally, I like the helm best for controlling boats. I just think that that works. <laughs> um, but obviously, you can choose whatever you want when you're building your boat. Or plane, or whatever. They're all pretty much interchangeable. Uh, I think it's mostly just the style at least that's what I've seen. <laughs> Heck, that's weird. Okay, so we should this should be able to work. Um, I think now we just need to get some buttons and stuff. So this will be drive the boat. <laughs> A and D, I'm going to make this sticky. And W and S, sticky, left, right sticky and this sticky this is just something that i recommend you do automatically when it comes to boats because if you have it set on reset then that means that everything is just gonna it's, it's gonna be weird and actually hold up if we're doing a and d for the rudders then i actually want that to be reset so <laughs> ignore what i said originally okay so uh now we got to get these hooked up i don't think rudders need like oh they do need electricity okay never mind this guy is just three, four. Oh, and this needs electricity too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And the numbers that I'm saying just don't really matter. Um, just helps me keep track. Anyways, um, let's get this hooked up. So we want the throttles from all of these to go. Actually, we want the... Hmm. I think what we want, we want the clutch to be... So we got a throttle lever. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to get the clutch to be... Um, 
like this. I think that'll be good. We go to drive the boat and we can just rename this to clutch sensitivity. Turn that way down to like maybe 15%, probably good. Okay, and then we'll get the logic for this hooked up. Two, three, and four. So all of our clutches are now hooked up. Next up, we want to get A and D. So this is our actual steering, and we want to hook these up to the rudders. So this is going to tell the rudders which direction to rotate. After that, we want to get uh, W and S, which is going to be our throttle to actually control the engines. Okay. Next, we need to get an engine starter. So for that, I like to use a toggle button. You can put that anywhere. I'm gonna put mine right here. This is going to be labeled as engine, E-N-G-I-N-E-S-T-A-R-T-E-R. -E -E engine starter, default state off. And then, yeah, I know we will have to uh, do electricity on all of these as well. But let's get this and we will put these Starter, 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 and starter. Perfecto. And then, of course, we can also do a, like, a change. Uh, or no, we'll put this right here. This is going to be change uh, gear ratio. So, change gear ratio. Default state's gonna be off for this one, um, but we're gonna get gear switch is gonna be this. Three and four, okay, awesome. And then we can get, I think this should work, we can get, we get a display, or display. Uh, we can get, um, shoot. I, we could probably get an indicator light not an RGB indicator light. We want indicator light. So this will tell us if this will tell us what gear we are in right now. So if it's on, then that means, so this is second gear ratio selected slash on. Okay. Get this logiced up. So this is toggled, we'll get this indicator light on. Yeah. Now let's make sure we've got electricity for all of these. Just, I'm just gonna wire them all up to each other. Um, and then I will give it its own battery. Uh, we could be a medium battery. We'll put it, I think we could put it like right here for now, or actually could we hide it kind of? How big is this? This is uh, two by three. So we could do two, three, get our batteries. Oh, that sucks, it doesn't work. And we can't put it on top of the other battery. So I guess, do we like stick it to the wall? Oh, of course that works, that makes sense. Okay, um, I think our boat is good to go. I don't know of anything else that we need to wire up, so I think we should save, first of all. Uh, this is boat one, or bay boat one, I guess. All right, and I think this back compartment area definitely flooded, okay. Yeah, that's not good. So we're not gonna drive the boat until we fix that problem. And I think I know how to fix it. So because of how we set up the radiators, they're kind of like messed up. And so basically what we need to do is we just need to close off this bottom area down here. To do that, we're gonna do X. So mirroring on the X axis. And then we're just going to build this. And after that, we can get ourselves, like, I'm gonna do these first blocks right here, deleted. One and two. 
And then if we get pipe, we can get a straight pipe piece and put that here and then that one right here. And we'll do the same over here. So one and two and one, two. Um, we'll just select off of this here, here and boom. Okay, so now I don't think this area should flood. And even if it does, I'm going to build this kind of like separation device compartment. Just that if one side floods, the other side doesn't flood immediately. I think this is good. So let's save this. Bay out one. And spawn it in. And I think... Does it work now? Or is this still... Still have water in it? Hmm. I don't know. Let's... Let's try to, like, glitch through the boat to find out. Oh, okay. This is completely submerged. Why is that? Or is it submerged? Or is it... I think it's actually dry in here. Right? Or am I just going crazy? Okay, so uh, the boat actually is not sinking. I guess it's just extremely heavy on the back here because the engines probably. So here's what we're gonna do. We gotta get. We're gonna turn the clutch. Oh my gosh. Did I forget? Oh, dude. Rookie mistake. Not even wired to electricity. What the heck was I thinking? Okay, we gotta get. We're gonna send this battery to this battery, and then one, two, three, four. And we're gonna name this battery um, Bridge Battery Main. And this is. You'll see this is gonna be Bridge Battery Backup. And while we're over here, we might as well add some dials. I know, I'm just. <laughs> Dial. We'll get this. And these are going to be. Uh, this is going to be all the information that we need. So we've, we're going to get our uh, RPS. We're going to get engine temperature. We're going to get the uh, clutch temperature, I think. And then we'll just add a few more. Just, you know, for good measure. <laughs> I think I just confused myself. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, whatever. Those are electricity up now. We should do... So this is going to be engine temp. So temperature. Can I only get one engine temperature? Darn. Okay, so hmm. I guess we'll do this. So engine one temp. And since I don't want to write this out, we'll do this. Engine two, this will be engine three, and this will be engine four temp. Okay. Minimum value, we'll set that to zero, 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 and zero. And then we'll make the maximum value. I'm just gonna make it 100. Mostly because I'm really bad at seeing these dials just by sight, so I'll usually have to hover the mouse over them. And when you do that, it automatically tells you uh, what everything is. So anyways, this is the engine one temperature. Put that one there. This is engine two temperature, and this is engine two. Engine three temperature goes to engine three. And of course, engine four goes to engine four. Now, I think we have to do individual RPS as well. So that's gonna get annoying, but let's just make sure and hope that that's not uh, true. Okay, it is true. Hmm. Well, that, oh no, redo. <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm. Let's just, connect to this RPS up. Actually, we could just do 
Shoot. Um, we could probably just do all of, or just one of the engine RPSs into this guy right here. And then we'll just act like that's all the engines uh, RPS. And we'll just do RPS 0 to 100. That's 1,000. Okay. Um, I think that's everything. Is there clutch pressure? We don't really need that. All right. Yeah, I think the boat's good to go. I can't think of anything else that we're going to need to test out or fix before we do this, except maybe the weight issue, but whatever. Okay, so temperatures, for some reason they're going up, but we haven't even started like moving yet, so that could be a problem. Yeah, that might be an issue. Anyways, let's move the clutch forwards. We'll get about here, throttle up a bit. Hmm. Okay. That's a problem. For a few reasons. One, that means that the engine is not functioning. problem was and it actually turns out it was quite stupid i just didn't see that i had to wire the air up so look originally the main reason the engine wasn't working was because i didn't notice that this air port existed so i needed to run the pipe out and i connected it with this engine and just ran it up and into the largest air intakes i could find which were these so now that we've got that problem solved maybe we can figure out how a gearbox works hopefully so i'm gonna delete these and now we're just gonna add a few here we're gonna grab a gearbox let's see I guess we'll do one and two. For this, I really want to get some more torque when it, instead of um, RPS. So that's what I'm gonna do. And we're gonna grab a propeller. We're gonna get the large propeller. We're gonna get the large propeller. And one and it looks like and make sure these are connected that one's connected that's connected now we just need to set the ratios so it'll be one to one but then we'll get three to one three to one three to one and three to one so i don't think there'll be a ton of difference when it comes to um these gearboxes but i think it should be noticeable at least Let's grab, this is drive the boat, this is change gear ratio. So one, two, three, four. And then when we change the gear ratio, we want it to go straight to this indicator light. All right, let's test this out. 
Okay, so we can actually move the clutch up a bit. Start the engines. And actually, we'll just... Well, this isn't the clutch. Sorry, this is the funnel. <laughs> what am I thinking? Whenever we do this, change gear ratio. So this is probably going to make the engine explode. Uh, which, no, it's not a good thing. Stop this. Okay, so... I think I'm starting to understand how the gearbox thing works. Basically... Uh, right now, we see, let's see, do we have an RPS on this? RPS is 11, and 4, we can change gear ratio. It goes up to, oh my god. Whoa, okay, it's 35 RPS. Alright, so I guess we just want it to be the other way around then? Yeah. Oh, and by the way, the, uh, steering is inverted. So we'll need to fix that as well. But, let's drive our amazing boat back to the um, harbor um, in here, and then change up the gearbox. So, hmm, let's delete these, grab another gearbox. I know, this is crazy. Grab this guy, one, or no, what the heck. I want it to go from propeller into engine. I think changes it up. So if we just do three to one, three to one, three to one, and three to one. And then while we're back here, um, we might as well just um, fix up the propellers a bit. So we're actually gonna do, we're gonna turn symmetry off for this part. And I guess I was wrong about the whole A and D thing. Turns out A is positive, I guess, and D is negative. So now that we know, we can wire these up and uh, this gear change rate, change gear ratio one, two, three, four. Okay, I think this is all working. And actually, while we're down here, I'm going to bring this way down. And we'll just set it to 20 RPS as the max. 20. 20. And. 20. Okay, let's test this out. I hope it works. Bring the clutch up a bit. Or, sorry, I wanted to take the clutch the um, uh, throttle. So we'll just max out the throttle, right? So this is the speed we're going at. It's actually pretty fast. I think we should probably focus on not getting some flat bottom of the boat or whatever. And I forgot to link up the steering. Oh man. When we change the gear ratio. Uh, it looks like it just slowed it down. Think. I can't really tell. Okay, let's make it uh, daytime. It'll be easier to tell. Uh, actually, it might have actually sped it up. Change this. Oh no, those are much. They're going much faster. Okay, so I think right now we're getting a bit more torque because if we if we set the wind to insane levels, I think we'll be able to withstand uh, some more same waves than if we just had it uh, normally. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's bring it way back down. Water's calm again. And we can just take the work, the vehicle back to the workbench. Not the workbench, back to the vehicle. What the heck. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. Um, I think all we have to do now is just get the yeah, let's get A and D, get this one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. So that's good to go. Um, and then we'll probably get a more powerful gear ratio. So maybe like five to two. Seems like it might work. Once again, it was just completely arbitrary. Like there's no rhyme or reason to this at all. Okay. Um, 
I think that should be good. And then we'll just change this from clutch to throttle. Okay. And spawn this in. Now we'll bring the throttle up. I'm just going to max this out. Start the engine. Okay, so you can see those are going pretty fast. Like, those are actually going really fast. And then we change the gear ratio up. You see they slow down a bit. But we're probably getting some more torque. And it's definitely putting less stress in the engine. Let's see, so that's going up. This is going way up. Working that well. Anyways, let's test it out. Fog, wind, and snow just drastically increase the conditions. Actually, I'm going to turn the fog way down. Okay, yeah, so I think this is giving the boat a bit more power, um, which it des definitely needs. Um, this. It's, it's up, but I think it's got a little, a little bit less power, so probably, okay, but, oh, oh, alright, this is, this is nice, this is fun, and we're upside down. Um, it's definitely, um, a good thing. Yep, oh, okay. Uh, maybe we just take this back to the workbench. What do you guys think? way down and the boat's all the way over there okay so we've pretty much got that sorted all i want to do right now though is just change this up so i think we could bring this um probably to maybe two to one just to get a little stress off the engine help it out with its tough job you know driving the boat and then I think, um, I don't think we have to get started on the aesthetic of the boat right now, because I don't think we have time. But we should do maybe one final test. Actually, I'll put, um, what was I going to put? Railings. Let's put some railings on the boat. Just maybe for aesthetic uh, purposes. Okay, that's good. Just get it down here. Probably gonna work. Like right there. Okay. And then we could put another one here if we really wanted to, which I do want to do. And boom. Okay, now we get the straight railing segments, which I believe right here. One. Two, three. It's gonna look kind of ugly, but maybe maybe not. We can make it look a bit nicer. Just bring these in. Okay, I think it should be good to go. And we could probably also add some ladders to the side. Let's do that ladder. Nothing fancy right here. No. Uh-oh. One, two, three. Okay. One here. One here. Even though we don't really need them. And let's spawn it in. And we'll see how the boat works. So... This is what we put together today. <laughs> An oddly balanced boat. Uh, let's use the ladders that I just installed. So we've got some food heat radiators. Looks like they're going pretty good. We might need to um, make these a bit larger next time. We've got these fluid slot ports. Let's see. Fluid there. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are some crazy numbers. Uh, let's just explore the boat. Look at this thing. 
just looks so nice right now. Oh my gosh. Anyways, let's ruin that. Fog, wind, snow, override wind direction. Let's make this. Oh, I don't even know what it does. Oh wait, no, it's facing to where I can take this series and see where I can take this game because I think it could be pretty cool, pretty fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching and we can close out the episode with me trying to ride my boat up the tsunami. Not recommended. Alrighty. Awesome. Yeah, first day and look what we built. Built an awesome boat. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. I'm Owen with Free Brothers Entertainment, and uh, subscribe.